Good morning, challengers. This is Pat, and let's see. Today we are going to work glutes and core. So equipment needed is a soft surface. Uh, you're going to be lying on your back. Uh, you will need aerobic shoes for this. It just makes it a little bit easier because with the stability ball, um, the soles of your shoes are going to help you hold on to that ball because your balance is going to be challenged a little bit with this move. So, a stability ball, okay, if you have one, they're really cheap. Most people have these because even kids like to play with these. Um, I will show you how to do it without the ball as well. You just won't be able to get uh, the leg workout part of this because it's a two-in-one, okay, because you're going to be working your core and your legs, which is the upper part of your thigh, which attaches to your glutes, okay? Um, when I teach classes, I like to call that your thas. Um, and you can figure that out, thigh plus, and I'm not gonna say it because it's inappropriate, but those are two different muscle groups, but a lot of people it becomes one because it's not defined, okay? So let's go ahead and I'm gonna move back on my mat here and grab my stability ball and we're gonna get started, okay? All right. So it really does not matter the size of your ball. Um, if it's very large in diameter, it's just your legs are going to be a little bit higher, okay? This is a pretty large ball because I like to do reaches with it, ball transfers, um, different exercises. There's tons of exercises you can do with a stability ball and never even have to step foot in a gym. So I think I'm gonna start to incorporate this a little bit more for you so that uh, you can figure out what to do with it at home besides throwing it to the kids and rolling around on it and just doing you know your basic push-ups modified push-ups on this thing okay so I want you to lay yourself all the way back and this bowl is gonna come just underneath your legs I'm gonna scoot back a little bit so I don't end up out of frame okay all right so, you want your heels firmly planted on the ball. My back is on the floor, shoulders are down, head is down. And your hands, just wherever they feel comfortable because you're really gonna use your hands to hold your core nice and straight so you don't roll all over the place and side to side, okay? Toes are pointed towards the ceiling. Your core is drawn in nice and tight. Hands are down on the side. I want you to lift yourself up off the floor. Now my hips are lifted. And you can feel your core nice and engaged, and you can see that this ball is starting to rock, okay? That's where your legs are gonna come into play, okay? All you're gonna do is roll this ball straight out. Good, and bring it in, and notice I'm flattening my feet out this time off the ball, because this, this is the engagement part of the process. So you roll out, and roll it back in. Good, notice how I have a straight line from my hip to my knee, roll out, and roll back in, and this is challenging, trust me. Roll out, and back in, and lower down. So you would do that move about 15 repetitions and then lower down. If it becomes a little challenging, knock that ball right out of the way, okay? Now you've got your feet on the floor, okay? Hopefully that thing keeps on going, not in my way. And you're gonna lift straight up, okay? Now to get your leg exercises involved without the ball, okay, hips are lifted. We're in that same position, it's just our feet are on the floor rather than on the ball. I want you to transfer that weight, take one foot out, okay? You're gonna bring that leg in and push straight out. In and push straight out. Notice that this other side is still lifted and push straight out. And we're keeping our knees in alignment with one another and push straight out. So notice I'm not here. I'm not going straight out. I'm kind of lifted so that you can keep those glutes engaged. Out and in. Set it down. Go right into that other side. Notice how my legs are side by side. I'm not down here. I'm side by side. Pull in. Push away. Pull in and push away. In and push away. I want you to keep that foot flexed like you're pushing through the heel on a gas pedal. In and push away. 
Drop that foot down and set it down. So that is your modification if you do not have one of these stability balls, okay? And what you're gonna do is if you're using the ball, then you're gonna go through 12 to 15 reps, lower down onto your glutes. These are your glutes, lower down. And I want you to hug those knees into your chest, making sure you grab the hamstrings and not on top of the knees. Grab right here, let those hips fall naturally open to their natural neutral position, okay? And then roll side to side. Okay, pulling those knees into your chest is actually reversing that core movement, okay? Because when you're nice and extended, that core is stretched. And when you pull back in, you're reducing, okay? And so that allows the core to relax until you go into your next set. And then lay those feet back down and go right back into it. So you're going to have four sets of this today because I really want you to get deep inside those glutes and those thighs, okay? You may feel this in your calves as well because it's going to take a lot of lower body strength to pull that ball back in and then push it back out. Remember to keep those hips lifted, okay? Don't let your lower back curl. Keep it nice and open, you're on the floor, okay? Your abs are drawn into your lower back, constantly engaged. You're gonna do four sets of 12 to 15 reps each set with a 15 to 20 second break in between. You don't need a big long break, okay? Until you realize that you can barely get 10 of those puppies out before your glutes are on fire. Then you may wanna increase your rest time a little bit more. But attempt four sets. Do as many as you can, push past that comfort zone, okay? That's the part where I can't do anymore. Typically when your brain is telling you you can't do anymore, your body's probably got about three or four more reps in yourself so that you can do some more, okay? So mind over matter, matter over mind. Don't compromise your form for numbers, okay? If you notice that your hips are starting to drop and you're feeling lower back pain, you're done, okay? Take that rest and then go back into it again. And that's it for today. Okay, so you're working your glutes, you're working your core, and you're gonna get some leg movement in there. If you're doing the one-legged, like I showed you without the ball, remember to do both legs, 12 to 15 reps each leg, no break in between, that's one set. Then you take your break, then you go right back up, you do both legs, take another break and right back up. Again, four sets, okay? And that's it. Hope you guys have a fabulous Monday. We're in our last week, okay, for my challengers that are in session two. You're on your last week. So let's work hard and let's get that last push out, okay? If you're interested in session three, don't forget to message me so that we can get you up and running, okay? I'm gonna have to crawl over here now to shut this thing off. Have a great day.